Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? I'm sore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And not for uh, what you guys might think. Not for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh, man. Yesterday was a, yesterday was a good one. Mm -hmm. A really, really good one. I got to a point where we had to call it. <laughs> I saw my life flash before my eyes. My life flash before my <coughs> eyes so fast, but in slow-mo at the same time. Yep. My entire... I have a giant bruise. I'm a walking bruise right now. She, she, is a, she is a bruise. I'm a giant bruise. My, my left leg from my butt cheek and down to my ankle just about... It's a giant bruise. I feel so bad about it. <laughs> because it is, uh, I mean, we, there wasn't much that we could have really done to avoid it. In no, aspect. it was like, a freak accident type thing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we already did stuff for precautions and it was just in that one spot. That one area. So what happened was, <laughs> If it's not him hurt, it's me hurt. If it's not one thing, it's the other. It's okay. We're gonna we're not letting it get us down. We're gonna be out here, out here getting it again today. I'm gonna shake it off, walk it off, keep going. But what happened was yesterday, Gary and I were out here working. We were getting all these joists hung and making some really great progress. Honestly, like it looks so freaking great out here. It looks amazing. We got to the point where we were doing the side kickers. So needless to say, all of these rafters that are going straight forward are hung. Fantastic. We're working over on the side kicker and we got to first off create another, um, we were going to do triple, we did, or double, we did a triple wide beam, just like how these horizontal boards are, but we need them to come off the kicker sides. No. So Gary, the last time he was working, he was getting the measurement for that, getting that template going. He did it. He cut out the other pieces and um, got them all put together. So once it was all put together, Gary and I come over here and we're getting ready to put that up, right? So before we put that up, we're like, okay, well, we got one good ladder. We're going to need the scaffolding. So yep. before we even got to that, we were working with the ladder and the scaffolding. I was using the ladder over, um, over here. He's using the scaffolding over there. Brought the scaffolding over to this side, had it set up. Gary's in the far corner with the ladder because, again, it kind of goes at that funky angle. And, um, yeah. Trying to get this big old This triple, very large, heavy. Triple beam, 20 feet long, up in the air, and to get it set into place. Yeah. So, it really wasn't that big of a struggle to get it up. I mean, like, we muscled it. Like, we it was fine. It. It I was all right. It was all right. But then it got to a point where I needed... Gary was over on the ladder, he's holding it, he has it up on the corner, and I have it resting on top of the scaffolding. Now, scaffolding wheels are locked, mind you. Um, so everything is safe, everything is good to go, right? Or Wrong. So we thought. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I get up on top of the scaffolding, and uh, I climb up there. <sighs> I grab the beam, I stand up, and I'm holding it up, and I'm getting it on top of the roof. I got it on top of the roof, no problem. The problem was is that I was trying to get it underneath like one or two of those joists because of how long it is and how big it is and maneuvering, balancing the trying weight. Trying to manipulate it into place. I was, yes, right. trying to get it where it needed to be. And right as I'm like, I'm like kind of sliding it like this and pulling at it and sliding at it, um, the scaffolding literally fell out from underneath my legs. It literally kicked out. It right kicked out, out from underneath right here. from underneath me, and I saw my life flash before my eyes. Like it was, it happened very quickly, but it also happened in very slow motion for me. There's one piece of all of this zipboard. We laid zipboard all over everything, so that way we could maneuver out here a lot easier. Although on those corner pieces, there's like a little sliver where. Uh, I'm looking at it. It looks like three of the joists would be exposed. It's probably three of the 16 inches and then by maybe a foot and a half. 
there's that big of a patch. It's not that big. It's right over. But because of how it was and because of the weight getting distributed and then that thing kicking out from underneath me, like the wheel somehow, some way, even though they were locked, shifted into that hole and the whole scaffolding fell. Like I thought that it was going to kick the other beam like this off because it was very very close and Gary's on the ladder and I was terrified that it was going to knock him and the ladder off of this and onto the concrete like I saw all this happening as I'm falling through the air <laughs> you know and um I landed semi-gracefully sort of in a way because I landed on my leg and my butt but I landed on the scaffolding um and the scaffolding was on it landed on the Zip landed on the zip board joists. thing and it, and it busted through some of the zip board. There's a big old hole in the zip board down over there now where my weight and the scaffolding weight and everything just boom. Came crashing down. It could have been so much worse. Um, so much worse. It could have been way worse. I could have fallen not only from there but down onto the concrete. Um, I could have fell off the other side onto the rocks. Like... It could have gone a bunch of different ways of bad, so I'm happy that it only went that way of bad, but I got a little limp today. <laughs> got a little bit of a limp to today. Say, to say the least. And, and when I say yeah. I'm, I'm like literally bruised from my butt cheek down to my, I, I'm literally, there's giant bruise on my leg. Yeah. It almost looks like uh, somebody took a two by four and just clocked you. Clocked me, but it wasn't, it was the scaffolding and then the Two by fours. Yeah. Because it's like I fell on the scaffolding. The, the sca I'm standing on the scaffolding. It fell out from underneath me, which made me fall. And I fell like on it, but then I also fell a below it onto the wood. Yeah. So that happened. <laughs> that happened yesterday. Yeah. And I know what you're thinking. Y'all should have been tied off. Y'all should do this and that. You can't really tie off up here on that spot. Like we do have the tie off rings for when we're on the roof, but the problem is, is you got to climb up on top of the roof with nothing without being tied in just to hook up the ropes. So that way you can tie in. Yep. Um, and then also in that situation, I'm not sure that would have saved me really any anyway, because the rope would be long enough. So that way I could walk down here, but you can't really walk when there's joists and it would just be a tangled web of, be, of ropes. It'd it's be just a not. nightmare. And it would have been an even worse of a nightmare trying <clears> to get that beam up while you're tied off and yeah. trying to maneuver with that rope attached to you. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, so there's just sometimes <laughs> like if we're actually up on the roof, on the roof, yes, you know, that's then different. that's different than just being out here on this deck. But it's but uh, it is dangerous, guys. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous either which way you look at it. You know, <gasps> even to get tied off, even tying off, even anything that you do, it there is a spot where it's going to become like that. You know, mm -hmm. the only way that it would be really nice in a sense if we tied off up there is if we had a like an automatic fall arrest a system. A retractor. Zing, one where, zing, zing, zing. where, and where you it would just automatically come in and out yeah. as you move around, and then having it to where when you <laughs> fall it locks. Yeah, like any kind of like like a seatbelt, any kind of like sudden movement. A fall arrest like, system. Yeah, but yeah. It's a. Uh, it's one of those things, you it know. It, it's. <laughs> I'm happy that you didn't get hurt and that it was my turn this time because I'm not I, sure that your body can take any more beatings. It was my turn. I, I wish you didn't get hurt, but at the same time, I'm I'm sort of glad <laughs> that it was me. Not you. Well, no, it's not that. I'm I'm sort of glad that it panned out the way that it did. I am glad somewhat that you know you are perfectly fine mm -hmm. and everything else like that. With heights and with you, and particularly being afraid of heights, it and you having a fall like that, a lot of times. People need to experience that kind of stuff to get <clears throat> over their height aspect fear. and their fear and their understanding of it. Because, of course, the one spot that she fell, there is no zip board right there. It's a open joists aspect, and her booty landed right onto the joist, right in the hole. And 
She didn't fall through. No, I didn't. But you I, know? Got, I got, I got it. You good got, in, you got a good ringer on it. You man, know? like the whole left side of my body, like I feel it kind of in my armpit and in my arm right here, like for where my I arm bet. hit. And then, like I said, my whole left <sighs> booty cheek down my thigh, and then even parts of like my calf down to there. But the like the big giant bruise, like I mean, I've. I've got a big bruise on. She's got a good. She's it, got a good size one, man. It's all on my my left uh, thigh. <sighs> so well, it could have been a lot worse. I'm really really thankful that it's not. Me too. You know, and I'm thankful that we were able to get that up there. I think the next time I go to do the beam, we're probably just gonna do one at a time up there instead and get of it into position doing the three. Instead of doing the three, because <laughs> well, it's. The the problem is is with I that big huge three. I see why you did it that way. Like I'm not. It, it just was one of those crappy things because everything's on a slope. Everything is on a slope. Everything's on a slope. It's on a and not only that, but it's also the angle that's cut on yeah. that itself. And yeah. then not only that, but this is at a 45 degree angle coming into a slope that wants to go like this and shift that weight down this way but it also wants to shift all the weight coming down this way yeah like our, our deck is is flat but it is sloped <laughs> so that way when the rain comes you know the rain will wash what is it a 45 or a um, quarter inch drop it's about a quarter inch drop every like i <clears> want to <throat> say it's every three two feet so it's feet, it's not right like a huge ballpark. slope to where when you're standing here walking around up here you feel it because you don't it's a little bit less of a slope than what you would put in for um say plumbing yeah but it's still it's enough to where like if you had a sloped. marble out here it'd like roll off um, water would roll off and then obviously just just that little bit and uh, with these the scaffolding and then that much weight and i'm tugging and i'm pulling and i it moved the wheel <laughs> into the hole and the wheel went into the hole and was, fell and I went into the hole. It was fell. one of those in my, from my point of view, I'm on a ladder. I hear some things going sideways and her ah, scream ah! real quick. I look over and I've got this beam sliding down now at me and I've got her falling and I'm like, crap okay. so my instincts was to grab onto the beam and to try to stop the beam from sliding and to continue sliding like that would have been really bad if that thing slid off the roof well yeah you like know? what's <laughs> like, below you know you, exactly so i'm holding onto that beam and just watching everything go down <laughs> You're I, like, down. I can't down. do anything i'm stuck <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, and then, you know, yeah, went over there, tried to help you out, and it was a lot of, a lot of, are you okay? <laughs> I had like a massive adrenaline rush, I was kind of breathing a little hard afterwards, I was shaking, I was just like in shock, <coughs> like in, in shock. Yeah. But it's okay, it's all good, today, friends, <laughs> is hopefully not going to be like that. Uh, we did get... Gary finished it, right? I was kind of done at that point. I was like, okay, I know I'm, I'm already hurting. I'm hurting. We got, we got it up there, and I was like, all right, babe, I'm a, I need you to get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need you. If this thing goes down, I don't need you getting hurt again. <laughs> so Gary got that side piece drilled in and secured. So now over on this side, we're going to have to do more of the rafter boards, but them kind of coming off of that side piece like nope. how it was for our decking uh, but we'll get to that that's going to require us to cut those boards down to the exact size each board we're going to have to measure out the space figure out how big that is cut that board down exactly well, and place it in i should so, be able to put two over there no problem yeah i'm gonna have to cut a little like a, a smidgen like, a schmidgen, a schmidgen. like this much off of one this much off the other or whatever off the top yeah. and then i should be able to just set it right up there so we're going to have to finish that off. Uh, but before we even do any of that, because I think when we get to that phase, we're going to want to do both of them kind of just like, all right, get in a bed. Uh, we're going to have to come over here this morning and we're going to have to do that triple beam again and straighten that out guy. that wonky board. It was, it was fun straightening out all these horizontal boards yesterday. I tell you what, Gary had his ropes out. He was tying things to this, tying things to that. We were putting in other boards from the house to the beam, pushing and pulling and wedging and 
Um, it, we got it straight though. It looks really great. The hardest board is going to be that one, just because of the where it is in relative <laughs> to the house, and then also how wonky that one is. <coughs> but I feel like we'll be able to get it. Today we're just going to try to finish hanging up all of the joists. Um, once they are all hung, then we'll reevaluate and see how much juice we got in the tank to keep going on if we want to lay zip boards or not. Um, but honestly, if we just get all of the joists up today, then man, that was a heck of a day. That's a huge win right there. Yeah, that's a the heck of a day. The zip board, it shouldn't be that, long, that much work to get it into. No. The things where it's going to be a little bit tedious, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all tedious. <laughs> Is when I go to get on top of the band board where all these joists are sitting, I gotta cut the ice and water shield, you know, to that. And then I gotta actually peel that back a bit mm. to where I can actually, like, sort of flash in the zip board. Yeah, yeah. The way that I need it. To slice it in there just mm -hmm. a little bit. That way, when so I put zip the tape. water runs or whatever, it's. Mm -hmm. yeah, zip I hear tape you. where I cut that ice and water shield and to the band to the band board and the roof that's already there. Mm -hmm. Then cut a taper into the zip board to where I, want, I can slide it to the natural roof, tape that, put that ice and water shield that I already cut and flap it back. Yeah. So, so that, that may happen today. That may happen another day. I'm not <laughs> sure. It just depends on how much gas we got in the tank left after we mess with this kind of S shape and the other triple beam and being that i'm a little bit not a hundred i don't know how today's gonna go but i'm gonna give it all we got man i'm gonna give it all we got we got beautiful weather this morning yeah we got um, absolutely beautiful weather it's yeah. supposed to be amazing today well it's supposed to get warm again so, though it is supposed to get warm today but but we'll see what happens exactly coming out in the mornings like this guys and uh getting to it immediately it has been perfect because like right now it's actually like it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, it's not chilly. But honestly, if there was a little breeze, it'd be a little chilly. It would be chilly, but you know, I like this kind of weather where oh, perfect. I'm uh, definitely enjoying my nice self-wicking shirts. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I do have shorts on right now. Yesterday I was nuts and was in pants. We're walking around. I I'm, should have been wearing. I'm in pants. I'm going to be in pants because nobody no, wants. I don't want to. You need to protect your legs. Nobody wants to see that, dude. Like, honestly, it looks, it looks bad. And people will probably think that it's like, you know, I don't want to scare anybody. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody with. She's got a perfect one and a half inch bruise. That's pretty long. <laughs> It looks like somebody looks took like, a, a two by four and smacked her <laughs> across the line. <laughs> it does. It looks bad, dude. It looks. It definitely looks like a. Oh. It doesn't look ant accidental, but it was <coughs> accidental. That's the truth of it. It was totally by accident. And honestly, mm. it's. She caught it, it was on me. film. I did get it on film. She got it all on film. <laughs> Y'all will see it at least from one vantage point. Oh, next man. video. The next video that we get out. Which actually, if I have time and stuff, I should be able to put out a video for you guys um, on tomorrow, on Thursday, with all the stuff that we got done yesterday. We're, it, and it's gonna end essentially at my injury because that's when we stopped recording. I told her that we were done. Yeah. She was like, we can keep on going. I looked at her, I was like, babe, you just ate crap. <laughs> All right. I know that you're in the mode of like, let's Dust go, let's go, off. let's do it, let's do it, let's go, you know, and it's mainly because your adrenaline's pumping and you're not going to feel exactly. I'm a Capricorn. I'm very strong. What hard is wrong <laughs> until you go and sit down and relax for a second, let your body adjust, and then you'll be able to tell what, you're, what you did to your body. Yeah. You know, and I don't need you pushing yourself anymore because I would like to get back to work today yeah know, no the no next day it's all good it's all and, good uh, I, I did not want her to push herself anymore so i said no babe we're done we are done i'm calling it so at least it's <laughs> caught on film for you guys right you guys get to s i mean i put i put it on film when gary falls i'll put it on film when i fall if we catch it right she has and definitely taken the cake on falls yeah I, I would say you have taken the cake on uh <laughs> 
the worst fall aspect on the job site so far. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's all right. It's all right. Um, oh, man. But yeah, hey, we are going to go live tonight on Simple Life Acclaimed. Hope that you guys can join us at uh, 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. normal Central Standard Time. That's that's when we're going to go live. Um, like I was saying, I should be able to put out a video for you guys of all this stuff that we got done yesterday. Um, I'm going to do my best to polish it out and get it out on Thursday for you guys. And then, um, you know, what we do today and um, other stuff that we have to get ready for and whatnot coming along this week, we'll put out you know, shortly thereafter, maybe Saturday. I might be super ambitious and get one out Thursday for you and Friday for you and who knows, but I'm playing it by year. I definitely am gonna have one on Thursday for you and, and we're still recording stuff in the can. Um, I guess we'll talk to you guys more about it like tonight on our live chat, but Gary and I are, are whisking away <laughs> for a retreat this weekend, which is perfect timing. Yes. Um, really been working hard this week, so it'll be nice. It's just a weekend thing. Just a weekend thing. We Just wanna, a weekend thing. We got to we gotta give it to ourselves, you know? Yeah. We got to give it to ourselves. Yeah. It's not, you know, uh, all work and no play is uh, a good way to make a dull boy. Yeah. Or what was it? How does it go? I don't know. All I work and no play makes Tom a, du a dull boy. Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Something but like that. But you guys know the know saying. Y'all know what we're You guys about. know the saying. Life is... Still is, morning. <laughs> It's full of variety, and uh, I feel like I feel like we've definitely got a really. We're so close to being like done on this side, and obviously not fully, fully done. But we're so done yeah. to or getting to the point to walk away um, from this side to where this side will be good enough and not need our attention, um, and the metal could go up on top of it. Right? That's that's our big goal: is get metal on the building. Yeah. So we are very, very close to a point where on this side, um, metal could go up. It's just another couple of days of work. Maybe today. Maybe today we'll get all the zip board up there and get it all sealed in. You never know. It might be today and then one more day. I really don't know. Um, but we are extremely close. And once we get all of this stuff done um, and we're, this is ready for us to put metal on it, if, uh, you know, when the metal time, when we get the front done, um, yeah, we're going to start working on the front, so... <clears throat> get that mudroom done nice. and then all of the exterior areas that will require metal will be built and be ready and metal can go up because that's been the major holdup we can't put metal on stuff that's not built yet so nope <sighs> it's a process friends it's a process uh, okay. i'm enjoying the process yeah look at that crazy cat what, you gonna go get on the roof? Yeah, she wants to. She's like, oh, you guys made some more stuff for me to climb? It's Arizona. I know you guys can't see her, but she's been running back and forth on this green board. And she just now has realized that we have rafters up. Oh, she just she just walked underneath you. Yeah, she just realized that we have rafters she's, up, so now she's, she's gonna climb them. She's definitely gonna go in and, and explore the roof now, I bet. A hundred percent, look at her. She's trying to find, figure out she's a way to, to get, get up. Yeah, she's trying to figure out how she like, can get can, up there. I can get up on top. I can yeah. be on top. Let me, let me figure out how. Am she I get will up be on, on that roof today. Watch. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I was, she's, I was thinking the that one. the other day, or like this morning. I was yeah. like, I wonder if those cats have gotten up on the roof yet. I was thinking it last night, or I guess not even last night, but yesterday during the day when we were working up here. I was thinking it. I was like. Just gonna be, watch tomorrow, Arizona or Sam are gonna be out here. We're gonna come out here and they're gonna be on these. Walking the girder. Mm-hmm. Back and forth and then yep. running back up there and then they're gonna be looking at us like, help, yeah. get me off the roof. <laughs> like, you're the idiot that got up there, get down. <laughs> it's so true, man, it's so true. Help. <laughs> the cats have gotten up inside the, uh, the cabin too, like yeah. all the way up top. And then uh, Sam's been sitting up there all pathetic, help, mm -hmm. help, because we've moved stuff and then he, like, that he used to get up there. Like, and then, the how do I get down now? I don't want to jump that far. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> squirrel. Today's gonna be a fabulous day, friends. Um, yes. We are gonna run and cut this one short so I can get it up for y'all and we can start our day. Uh, got all batteries charged? Yeah. All, all stations go? All stations are go. We should be able to rock and roll. Sweet. 
sweet. Well, I want to get a move on it before the sun comes out and becomes brutal. We've been uh, getting it early in the morning like this, and it's been absolutely heavenly. Yes. Get up and get the work done and stuff um, before the heat comes and then siesta and whatever. So it's been very, very nice. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get a move on it. I'm a long goodbyer. Love you guys. See you guys tonight on, uh, on our live chat. Hope that you guys can join us. Yes. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Real Talk with SLR. So... Until the next one, friends, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later. I believe I can fly.